Maybe the doctor told you you can make it no more. He has won the plan. Shout aloud, hallelujah. A Jericho destroying, hallelujah. Now a miracle receiving, hallelujah. Raise your right hand to the heavenlies, beloved, and declare this with holy violence. Every power, firing arrows at my star. Can you shout this loud and clear? Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Their time is up now. If they are firing arrows at your star, their time is up. Masentendekeyaboshenderabokopolakarabosanta. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for a wonderful evening. And we thank you for bringing us to this meeting. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. And so wonderful God, we are gathered here tonight. Teach us by yourself. Open the windows of heaven. Lay your hands upon our lives. Any bondage that has been pursuing anyone here, let the bondage itself be pursued. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, every Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. What we're dealing with here tonight is something that requires violent aggression. It's something that you've got to prepare your mind that you want to face. So for a few minutes, I just want to scratch the surface of a very deep topic. And if God permits us, we we'll go back to it some other time. I'm looking at what I call the mystery of the valley of the shadow of death. The mystery of the valley of the shadow of death. We scratch a little bit of the surface here tonight. In Psalm number 23, the very popular psalm that we all know. Psalm 23. Let's open our Bible to Psalm 23. Very popular psalm in verse 4. Psalm 23, verse 4. Say, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why should I not fear the evil? For thou art with me. Can everybody read verse 4 loud and clear? Now in Psalm 107 from verse 10 the mystery of the valley of the shadow of death. 
Psalm 107 from verse 10. Such a seat in darkness and in the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and iron, because they rebel against the words of God and contemn the counsel of the Most High. Therefore, he brought down their heart with labor. They fell down, and there was none to help. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distresses. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and break their bounds asunder. Oh, that men will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Straight away, the first fact to notice from these two passages, there is something known as the shadow of death. It's not death itself. The shadow of it. And you know, without a substance, there cannot be a shadow. So for the shadow of death to be around, it means that death itself is very, very close. That's the first point to note. Number two point to note. There is a spirit called the spirit of the shadow of death. If it overshadows a person, the person will be close to death. There is a spirit with that name. Fact number three, the shadow of death also refers to difficult place or difficult circumstances in life. Difficult place, difficult situation, a situation that is near unto death. Number four point is that there will be seasons in our lives when we must walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Many are passing through their valley now. The important thing is to be delivered from that valley of the shadow of death. The next point is this. The valley of the shadow of death is not supposed to be a permanent habitation. Because he said, though I walk through, you must just walk through it. You should not make it an habitation like some people did in Psalm 107. The next point is that it is unavoidable. There is no human being who can completely run away from this. The next point you gather from all these, these two passages, that that valley of the shadow of that is impartial. Not impartial. It doesn't matter whether you are rich or poor, whether you are young or old, whatever. The next point is that the valley of the shadow of death is unpredictable. There is a mystery about the valley of the shadow of death that the psalmist has to say, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. That is, the valley of the shadow of death, the next point, is a place of fear. A place of fear. Also, the valley of the shadow of death is a place of darkness. It's a place that a person is being bound in affliction and in iron. It's a place of distress. The valley of the shadow of death. When a person is in that valley you may abandon friends or family or friends or family may abandon you. When a person is in this particular valley, part of the tentacles of the valley is an aching heart. An aching heart. Part of the tentacles of the valley of the shadow of death is a blinded heart and a blinded mind. The person's heart and mind, they are blinded. Part of the tentacles of the valley of the shadow of death is Deception. Deception. The enemy will just deceive the person to where he can destroy the person. One of the tentacles of the valley of the shadow of death is depression. Depression and despair and discouragement. Part of the tentacles of the valley of the shadow of death is terrible dreams. Dreams of being attacked by animals. Dream of seeing black shadows pursuing the person. Dream of seeing evil spirits 
short, 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 short creatures. You don't know where they're coming from. Dreams are being chased about by dead people. Dreams are being flogged. Some people, some people wake up, they find marks all over their bodies. Dreams have been eaten by a vehicle. These are terrible dreams. Somebody was sharing with me recently. She said she had a dream. And somebody asked her to sit down. And the person began to dig a grave. And the person dug the grave. And he said, okay, go inside. I said, no, ah, la, la, no, I'm not going. So she stood up and started running. And the person began to chase her with the spade with which they dug the hole. Bwah, the spade on her head. Bwah, on her body. She woke up with the mark of a spade at the back. That is evidence that you are in the shadow of death. If you don't do something quick, Mr. Death will catch up. Those people, they say, well, they slept and never woke up. No, the shadow must have been around for a while. But because he could not address the shadow, Mr. Death now moved. With boiling anger, can you raise up your right hand? I say, every power that says I will not wake up when I sleep. You will not wake up. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare it against that power now. This is a very serious prayer. And you must pray seriously. In Jesus' name we pray. When a person has been hit by a vehicle in the dream, as part of the tentacle, being married to a dead person, being shot in a dream, falling into a pit and being unable to get out, walking about in a graveyard, all these are dreams of the valley of the shadow of death. I shared this with you many years ago. Let me share it again tonight. You see, ignorance is a disaster. Ignorance is destruction. The foundation of every bondage and every slavery is ignorance. This man was going to one of the Orthodox churches in this Lagos. And one night he had a dream. The dream he found himself in a big cathedral. They were celebrating somebody's funeral. They were singing. They were singing, shall we gather the river? Beautiful, beautiful river. Gather with the saints at the river that flows by the throne of God. That's what they were singing. And he was singing joyfully with them. But as he was singing, something said to him, but you are singing funeral song, but who died? Then he did the most reasonable thing to do. He looked at the back of the pamphlet. When he looked at the back of the pamphlet, he saw his own picture. <gasps> I said, no! You people, stop singing! I'm not dead! Stop singing! The just kept on singing. And he said, it's too late. You sang with us. It's too late. He woke up. He did not know what to do. Because of ignorance. The monumental ignorance of many church goers is amazing. A simple prayer after he had woken up. That father, last night, I had a dream. I saw this cathedral and they were singing this song. I set that cathedral ablaze. I cancel what they were saying. And I decree that I shall not die but live to declare the works of God. That one minute prayer was enough to cancel everything. But he just did not know what to do. Before the week ran out, the wife, five children, they were in a vehicle. The vehicle had an accident. Wife, five children, dead. One day. While they were trying to arrange the funeral of the six people that had died, his son Vikutu had an accident and he too died. So the whole family wiped out in a week because somebody did not know that he was walking through the valley of the shadow of death and that the shadow of death was close. Let me tell you the truth. Anything that is pressing anybody down on the bed is not there to play with you. It's there to kill you. The shadow is already around. But if you deal with it at the shadow level, the others will not come. 
Some situations may develop in life. The, the agenda of that situation is to kill you. But if you deal with it at that level, that will not move in as a result of an invitation. I pray that anyone here tonight who is presently walking the value of the shadow of death, whether it is convenient for your enemy or not, whether they like to hear what I'm saying or they don't like it, you shall be set free tonight. You shall be set free. 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 In the name of Jesus. When a person is always mourning excessively, only a small thing is needed to ignite the person to cry. The shadow of death is around. When a person is enveloped by fear, the Bible says God has not given us the spirit of fear. So if God has not given us the spirit of fear, it means another power must have given us that spirit of fear and that is the enemy. So God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, but of power, of a sound man. Hopelessness. It's a tentacle of the value of the shadow of death. Isolation. Just isolate yourself. No friend. No fellowship. You don't talk to anybody. Nobody talks to you. The shadow is around. Mental torment. A lot of people are suffering from mental torment, but they can't tell you. Some are walking the street. Somebody is pinching them with needles and pins, but they can't tell anybody. They are walking through the valley of the shadow of death. All forms of murder, they are all tentacles of the valley of the shadow of death. All this obsession with blood, death, violence, is the value of the shadow of death, the tentacles of it. You may be surprised to hear this. Some people get excited when they see human blood flowing. Some people are happy when they put a knife through somebody and blood begins to come out. A person takes a knife and sticks it to another person and blood is gushing out and you stick it again. That person is a sick person. When I was a Methodist, was asking in those days in Lagos. I was a fight somewhere in Jankara. And this man, they were hailing him. Because they say he's an expert at uh, hooking people and harming people with broken bottles. So there was a fight. He rushed to one shop, took a bottle of beer, broke it, in order to display that he will finish the person off. He first of all used the broken bottle to shook himself very well, to, to, to punch himself very well. And then he now was now looking for his opponent. When his opponent saw him using the bottle on himself, he said, ah, where the lele yo? He ran. So there was nobody to use the bottle on again. His eyes now cleared. He now started crying. There are people obsessed with blood. They are tentacles of the valley of the shadow of death. There are people who have interest in violence. Violence. And if violence has taken place and they didn't get there when it was happening, when they came and said, ah, this is not good, you should have invited us when you were doing this while Oppression is a tentacle of the valley of the shadow of death. Then, seduction. Seduction is a tentacle of the valley of the shadow of death. Look at Proverbs chapter 2 from verse 16. Proverbs 2, 16. To deliver thee from the strange woman, even from the stranger which flattered her with her words, which forsake the guide of our youth and forget the covenant of our God. Look at verse 18. For our house inclining unto death and our paths unto the dead. Do you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend or a strange woman or a strange man? Our house inclining unto death and our paths unto the dead. That's the part you are treading. None that go unto her return again, neither take the old of the past of life. So when seduction starts, is the valley of the shadow of death. When somebody sees you, 
And so, we are such a sweet angel. He has never seen an angel before. You that is trying to flatter, you know you are not an angel. And then you are smiling because they call you an angel. To wish you are not. Seduction has started. And the way is the valley of the shadow of death. This is a very, very serious matter. I was sharing with the youth on Sunday. This is University of Lagos. There's one woman who comes to MFM here. The son does not come to church here. They believe we're too strict. One day the boy was at the campus lagoon front there. I met one beautiful lady by the lagoon front towards the evening time. He's never seen this lady before. They got talking. And before you could say Jesus is Lord, they started fornication. All of a sudden, phew, the girl he was fornicating with disappeared from under him. He just met his chest hitting the wood. Nobody again under. And from that day, his problem started. It became like vegetable. The path of seduction, the path of fornication and adultery is a tentacle of the shadow of death. This is a very, very serious matter. In fact, to be quite honest with you, anytime I have opportunity to talk to those who are high up in government, I warn them. So look, the path of a strange woman is a tentacle of the valley of the shadow of death. When other methods cannot catch you, if they use that against you, it catches you, you die. This is a very serious matter. And it has finished many colorful destinies. When a person begins to see shadowy figure, shadowy figure is coming to the room and you don't know where the person has come from. So you receive fire, he runs away. Another time he's back again. It's the valley of the shadow of death. When you begin to hear people calling your name and occasionally you answer but you don't know who's calling you. The valley of the shadow of death. Any form of self-affliction you know this thing is harming you but you keep doing it is the valley of the shadow of death this is a very serious matter when we were in school in those days I used to have a colleague in class his mother sold sugar this boy comes with one one packet of St. Louis to school every day the gari and water that you put only 3 cubes 4 cubes, this boy will put 24 30. And that's what he was doing. By the time we go to the next class, he had developed terrible diabetes. In fact, he was the first person I would see in my life who would be giving himself injection in public. All those things is, is the shadow of death. If you are still stealing to drink alcohol, it's the valley of the shadow of death. Occasionally, you notice sharp pains in your body. As if somebody fired a tiny arrow into your body, is the valley of the shadow of death. And there are many powers that are putting arrows into the bones to get the bones rotten. Something keeps whispering in your ear, you are going to die. You are going to die. <laughs> that's the valley of the shadow of death. When there's an infirmity, and the infirmity refuses to respond to any form of medicine, any form of medical treatment, that is rottenness in the bone is a tentacle of the valley of the shadow of death. When somebody is experiencing un unexplainable sorrow, a sudden loss of appetite, thoughts of suicide, or wanting to kill yourself, these are tentacles of the valley of the shadow of death. Once this thing has caged a person, it is then Mr. Death now moves in to finish the job. These are serious matters. When a person is in the cage of the valley of the shadow of death, it's like the person is suffering from internal burial. Somebody is trying to bury the person internally and is trying to harm the destiny of the person. What do you do in these situations? The first thing is to completely surrender your life to Jesus. 
Because without that, you can't have the life that Jesus gives. Number two is to discern that you are under attack by the spirit of the valley of the shadow of death. Number three is to wage war to get yourself out of this valley. And number four is to bind the shadow and lose life into your spirit. You bind that shadow and lose life into your spirit man. The message tonight is prophetic. And I'm sure it's coming forth for a purpose. Because I know there is somebody here that the enemy has purpose to kill. But it's your enemies that shall die. For you shall not die but live. To declare the works of God. Rise up on your feet now. This kind of topic, there is no room for too much talk. We need to take some urgent actions. Rise up on your feet now. All eyes closed. But you see, if you are here tonight, and you are not born again, wherever you are, why all eyes are closed, surrender your life to Jesus now. By raising up your right hand, and say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you tonight. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. So say that short prayer with me. Immediately, we close now. Find a way to the altar here. Before we start praying this kind of prayer, <laughs> something is happening already. I see a sister. They were pulling you out of a pot. You've been in that pot for years. The pot is also filled with concussion. We have not even started praying. The angel of God is already pulling you out. Before we start praying these prayers, there are seven warfare songs I want you to sing. Seven. It has to be seven. Make sure that nobody's voice overshadows your voice as you sing these warfare songs. This warfare song is part of the prayer. So sing it the way you will pray the prayers. Don't negotiate with the enemy here tonight. But I have a word of warning to anybody who will live here tonight and still continue a life of iniquity and sin. Then your blood will be on your head after such a meeting like this. Are you ready now? Seven warfare songs. Sing with a loud voice. All shakeable must be shaken. All movable keep on moving. I'm serving a God of fire. All shakeable must be. Hallelujah. Yes. God of fire. All shakeable. Hallelujah. All shakeable must shaken. All movable keep on. Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. God of Elijah, send them fire. God of Elijah, send them fire. God of Elijah, send them fire. God of Elijah, send them. Hallelujah. God of Elijah. And I feel like just and Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Only goes arise in your power. Only goes arise in your power. Ready to deliver. Ready to save. Ready to deliver. Ready to set me free, Holy Ghost arise, oh, yeah. ah, Holy Ghost arise, yeah. yes, yes, ready to set me, Holy Ghost arise, oh, yeah. Holy Ghost arise, yeah. Holy Ghost arise, yes, yeah. ready to deliver. Ready to save, ready to deliver, ready to set me free. Holy Ghost, arise, oh, in your power. I'll stop you.
because of the weak clapping of some of us. Clap those hands. The sound of your clapping is enough to cause miracles to happen in your life. Are you ready now? Are you ready now? All dry bones, you must be revived. All dry bones, you must be revived. For the Lord said to you, All dry bones, dry bones, you must be revived. In the name of Jesus, all dry bones, you must be revived. In the name of Jesus, all dry bones, you must be revived. For the Lord said to you, All dry bones, dry bones, you must be in the name of Jesus, yes, I have. You must be in the name of Jesus. I bone, we must be in the name of Jesus. All dry bones, I bone, say. You must be in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. You must be. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Yes. For the Lord say to you, all right, boy. I bone, you must be revived. The blood of Jesus, the blood that conquers it. The blood of Jesus. Uh, uh, the blood of Jesus. Uh, Lord, 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 the blood of Jesus. Uh, the blood of Jesus. Uh, the blood of Jesus. Uh, the blood of Jesus. 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 Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Oh, the enough is enough. 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 Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Because I rise enough. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, sir. Now, face enough. Now, face. Oh, yes, sir. Holy God. Hallelujah. Enough. The wall of Jericho fell down flat. Wall of Jericho. Hallelujah. The wall of Jericho fell down flat. Children of God were praising the Lord. The wall of Jericho fell. Get yourself ready now. Get yourself ready now. Thank you, Jesus. 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 As you pray this first prayer, make sure you do not negotiate with the enemy at all. Pray with fire. Pray with power. Pray with merciless violence. Shout of death! I bind you! Can you shout that loud and clear? Is that the loudest you can shout it here today? Is that the loudest you can shout it? In the name of Jesus! Open your mouth and begin to pray it. Something is happening already.
Continue, continue. Don't negotiate. Masekaya bo shendera bo kopola bakara bo santa. Deribo soponde keya bo shentera bo kola bakapia laka. In Jesus' name we pray. Making progress. Plenty of progress. As you pray this next prayer, if you are that person here, even as you are standing there, it's as if there is an extra heavy load on your head, pressing your head down. Just quietly find a way to the altar and bear your knees. You can feel it, you know. As if there is an extra load on that head. Just find a way to the altar and bear your knees. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. Hey, I beg you, don't keep quiet on this kind of prayer. Every honor of the Lord of shadow of death. Carry In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. Tonight is tonight. They must carry their loads. Jesus name we pray. <laughs> Those of you at the altar here, I'm going to make a count of seven and you then start clapping your hands. Clap those hands violently. The harder you clap, the faster the owner of the law will carry their load. As you are clapping those hands, you'll be calling Jesus. That is those of us at the altar here. You start at the count of seven. One, two, three. Wait now. Amen. Wait for me to count seven before you start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now begin to count. Call Jesus. Call Jesus. Masepotanda kaya bo shentera bo konda. Repo likatenda kaya bo shantara bo koyaba. Something is up already. That's right. That's right. That's right. The power of God flow. That's right. Be released from the shadow of the. Be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. Amen. Aha. That's right. Father, let every owner of evil load carry their loads. In the name of Jesus. Now, shake that head. Shake it vigorously. That's right. Don't be afraid. It may be developing headache. Don't, don't be. Shake, 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 shake. Shake off their load. Back to them. Shake their evil load. Back to them. Shake it off. Shake it off. Amen. Aha. Check your head now. And then you may go back to your seat. Rejoice. Check that head. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. 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 You will pray this one now. I fire back. Every arrow of the shadow of death. Can you shout it loud and clap? In the name of Jesus, fire back. Yes. In Jesus.
Jesus' name we pray. As we pray the next three prayer points, if you are here tonight and something has been whispering in your ear, you are going to die. You are going to die. Death, death, death. Just find a way to the altar quietly and be on your knees. Everybody will pray these three prayers with all their might. Pray it with violence and with power. Every power are assigned to cut short my life. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, Father, let your power begin to move in this place. Thou power of God, move, 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 Open your mouth, open your mouth. This is not a time to negotiate. In Jesus' name we pray. Those of you at the altar, begin to breathe in the fire of the God of Elijah and breathe out every spirit of death and hell. Do it aggressively. In, out. Breathe in the fire. Breathe out the infirmity. Breathe out the spirit of death and hell. That's right. The one hiding in the breast. The one hiding in the head. The one hiding in the womb. Push them out. 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 In the name of Jesus. Aha. Something is happening to you. Yes, come out. Through the mouth. Through the nose. Through the womb. Come out. The one in the leg. The one in the heart. The spirit of asthma. Loose your hold now. Aha. Father, let the blood of Jesus flow into the inside of these your children. Let the blood of Jesus mix with their own blood. I decree that you shall not die but live Amen. to declare the works of God. Amen. It is well with you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We go back to your seat rejoicing now. Thank you, Jesus. 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 As you pray this next prayer, if you are that sister here, you had a dream that somebody you knew was dead, was sleeping with you. Please find a way to the altar very quickly. You know the person was dead. Having sex with the dead. Find a way quickly to the altar here. Everybody will shout this again loud and clear with a voice that the enemy will be scared of. Say, Stones of fire! Look at my good eyes. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Stones of fire. Arise. Look at my good eyes. Look at my good eyes. Masikaya bo shentera bo kopola bakara bo santa. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. The sisters at the front here, lay your hand on your womb area and keep it there for now. Very soon, an angel of God will begin to visit you one by one and it will begin to pull out things from that womb. Very soon. That's right. Yes. 
the operation has started now. Aha. They must go. Can't stay. Father, let this evil soul tie be broken in the life of these your children here. I'm beginning from today. Any consequence of this episode is counseled forever in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to shoot you down shall shoot themselves. Shall shoot themselves. Shall shoot themselves. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. We go back to your seat rejoicing now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lay your right hand upon your head as you declare this loud and clear. Curse of death. Break. 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 In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare it. Command it to be broken. name we pray say thank you Jesus amen right there where you are please beloved lay your two hands on your two legs and you will speak with this word of prophecy upon your legs like this my legs hear the word of the Lord you will not bring me into danger. In the name of Jesus. Professor, upon your legs now. And your legs will hear the word of the Lord. It will not bring you into danger. Rise up on your feet now. So any power that you want to attack me as a result of my praying here tonight, die in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants to attack me as a result of my praying here tonight, their time is up. In Jesus' name. We pray. You now pray this last prayer before you go. The last prayer is a confession after the order of the psalmist. Valley of the shadow of death. Terminate. It's a command. It's a prayer. Can you say it loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. Terminate the valley. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us share the grace in fellowship.